Right, you guys? I'm gonna hold myself a gator. Baby is at his full black. There's one of 15 in the world. Yeah, the, the ones at the zoo, there were 12. Maybe I'm thinking. It smells like popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's MJ and welcome back to Pet Adventures again. So today I am actually heading off to Repticon. It's going to be the same Repticon that I went to last time. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything or not. Most likely not. I usually don't get anything there. But I thought I would head off and vlog it a little bit. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Usually they're, they're pretty awesome. And what I like about this Repticon is it's a lot bigger and a lot less crowded. <laughs> so like the original one I used to go to was so, so, so crowded. So yeah, see you guys there. All right, you guys, so made it here. The building kind of looks like that. I don't know if you could see it that well, but yeah, there it is. This is the building. As you can see, like I said, it's a lot bigger. There's like some art over here. Wow, and they have actually this really pretty art. Like I said, a little bit up close though. There's like a little owl. And there's like a iguana and an eagle. It's nice. Oh, the Christmas decoration? Yeah, no, the tree. I didn't notice that. Oh, I thought that's what you meant, because I was like... No, to... I was looking at that. <laughs> oh, I was trying to look for him, like, I'm like, I feel stupid. I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, oh, that's it. I wonder if they have anything to eat here. No, probably not, man. Actually, I don't know. You should get a hot dog or something afterwards. I'm hungry. They have, like, a little table over there, too. Oh, and just so you guys know, this is the Dodge Center. So if you're in Pines, Pembroke Pines, Florida, that's where I'm going to usually be here. I don't know how often they're going to do this one, but hopefully for a while. Okay, so introduce yourself. So my name is David, and that's Manny over there helping out somebody. Hi, Manny. And we are Tiki's Geckos. We sell a variety of crested geckos, gargoyle geckos, bearded dragons, anything you could ever want. We sell. I love that's your guys' YouTube channel. Thanks. I, I legit only know things about crested geckos because of you guys. Hey, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm glad I can help. Do you have a YouTube? Yes, Pet Adventures. Alright, you gotta you gotta write that down for me. I'll look you up. Alright. You're gonna here local you. as well? Yeah, I didn't know you guys lived in Florida though. Yeah, we're in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, you're so close to me. That's yeah. crazy. Is it your first time here or no? Well, this is the second time they have this show. So um, it's our second time here. We were here for the first time they had it. But it's I can't like believe a brand I didn't notice though. Yeah. That's crazy. I should have noticed you guys. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Nice to meet you. Subscribe, everybody. <laughs> These guys are crazy looking. You look so crazy. <laughs> I know, right? He looks like he's having a stump on him. Look, he looks like a piece of wood. <laughs> he's stumped on. 
Look at him. Look at this one. He looks like a log. He's a log baby. This one's stomped too. Kind of. What's up guys? How are you? Hi. Look at him. He's so mad. Why are you so mad? mad? I know. <laughs> I guess. This is a badass, dude. <laughs> These look awesome. He's this like, get me out of here. I didn't know they get that huge. Is that what they have on the other side? What in the world? That's a I thought leaf tilt geckos don't get that big. It's a giant one though. It looks like a frog. Hi, buddy. Oh, they got scorpions Observe. Oh. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, so these are nice to the striped knees. Oh, I know. He's like, get me out of here. <laughs> Where's that? Uh... <laughs> yeah, Dalmatians so always look nice. <laughs> yeah, the Dalmatians look really cool. Small when they're cool. babies. Tiny Are these from New Caledonia? They are. Oh. <laughs> the smallest species in New Caledonia. Those are oh. pretty cool. <laughs> so where the crusties come from? Yep. Interesting. Yeah, I actually do like these. They look pretty cool. Like little. <laughs> it's like the first time I've heard of those kind of geckos. They're almost bigger than you. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so white. Why are you so albino? He's like, I don't know. He's like, how am I supposed to know, bro? He's like, no sun for me. <laughs> He's like, I'm swinging, man. I'm swinging. I'm swinging like a coop cat.
Thank you so much. So proud. So, when did you find me? <laughs> um, we're over there looking at some of the snakes and like my on, dad's on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, um, we're um, looking for snakes. So about yeah. Python. Yeah, and reptiles. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is also like a lot smaller than that, so it also makes me. Oh well, yeah, I usually don't. I usually don't try to handle them when they're too small, just because I feel like they're too fragile. I've seen them; they're just like little, little fly nets, tiny, tiny little. That's why I can't feed them in the next week. I'm only thirteen. What I got them to sting me. I don't know what it is about it. getting a pet you guys I'm not gonna talk about it just yet but I think you guys are gonna like it I like it it's a really cute little pet oh he's so tame he's so tame usually turtle I mean tortoises don't really let me touch him like that like no man <laughs> it's like why you gotta shove me together <laughs> look at this <laughs> I like these exoterras. Look at this. This is like exoterra heaven. Oh, they're holding a gator. Ah, they look a little gator. I'm not a fan of these because of the way that they open. Like, personally, for me, it's just like, it's a hassle. Is but, it? Yeah. For me, I never like them. Look at this. Exoterras are so simple. Chris the Gecko set up the food, 60 bucks. Oh, wow. I know. That's, that's actually not bad. I like my setup more, though. The setup that I got for my Crested Gecko. Yeah, but. Is really good. Isn't this the same one? No, mine actually came with a little oh, the, the hide. It comes with a treat. Oh, look at that though. And he uses that treat every single night. So, mm -hmm. I mean, personally though, if you are gonna do like a crested gecko setup, it, this isn't that bad. Um, I, I think he's okay without that tree. Yeah, well, they definitely need something to hide in. Like, I don't, I don't really see any hides in here. There's not really. But this is just a starter kit, you know. So, overall though, Exoterras are great for Crusties. And many other geckos too. Like my Gargoyle gecko should be great one too. It's five bucks. I have five bucks. We have Do you? I think so. I should edit your videos from now on. Yeah, edit them. I can edit. I can film and edit. Five dollars. Alright you guys, I'm gonna hold myself a gator. This little guy's our rare one. So just kind of hold him nice and snug and then rub on his neck and it'll calm him down. Hey, oh he's so cute! I love the sounds that I hear these guys make when they're calling to their mom sometimes. When we were bringing these two home from Gatorama, they have this big long dock. They were doing that little chirp and as we're walking all the mom gators were swimming up to the, oh the boardwalk. Yeah, they're very protective of their young. What kind is this? He is known as a hypermelanistic. Oh. So they're all American alligators, it's just the different genetics that they have. You're right, the underneath really helps their little chin rub. I've seen people do the chin rub with like adults. You, I it's do so it with, the, with these here, but any, any of them that are bigger than that, I. That bad. They're not that resistant. <laughs> they're probably used to it. Yeah, they're starting to get used to how we how we're doing these. Do they have names or no? Yes, the one that you're holding, his name is Spade. Spade. Uh, the little one is Ace. That one's Onyx. <laughs> Onyx. Oh, I like that name, Onyx. 
How old are these guys? Three months. Three months. Three months. How long does it take to get like maximum size? To a get year? mature, uh, it's about four to six years. That's, they grow a foot a year till they're about that age. After that, it's a foot a year or an inch a year. An inch a year. The females will get up to about 10 to 12 feet. Males will get up to 19. If he bit me, like, how much damage would he do? Not much. I mean, you'll feel it. It's 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 a pinch because I've seen him like hold on to someone's thumb. Those, they'll um, you know, if they were to get you, because I've seen them grab somebody's wrist. Yeah. And it kind of made them bleed a little bit, but they didn't take any chunks out. But if they were to start rolling and everything with it, yeah. that's when it would create more damage. So hold back here from the tail, and then right up here at the neck. Oh my goodness! Wow. Yeah, this one, this one, pretty rare, and so is uh, we have one of our babies that is full black. Oh He's one of 15 in the world. He's very rare. Uh, well, these, no, there's a lot more than that. Yeah, I'm not sure on the count on these, but they're, they're still so pretty powerful. rare. That's different than the white one. Yeah, the, the ones at the zoo, there were 12. Maybe I'm thinking 12 cobra. Look at his eyes. It's, they do have, there's two different kinds. There's one that is a, it's called a blue eyed leucistic. The eyes are a little different. Um, this one is known like as a A male and it's about 10 to 12 feet. Males will get up to 19. That smells like popcorn. <laughs> Here. You're welcome. He, he's in there. He's, he might be guy? hiding. He's one of the little guys. So have you been bitten by one? No, not yet. <laughs> and I say not fingers. yet because I'm sure it'll happen soon. So what do you guys do with them when they're older? Right now we have, because we have two 46 footers at the farm and we're going to eventually start breeding some of these. That's it. So we've, we've, we're in the process of building bigger pens for them so that when they do get bigger, they have more room to run. How'd you get the albino? That one we bought from a private collector. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes. I know like Steve Irwin, he had his like whole place where there was like a big setup for each individual I mean, uh, rescue and everything. Yeah, yeah we're building four, four big pens right now. <laughs> She's debating. <laughs> She's like, I don't know yet. If you want to pick another one up, just grab it from the back of the tail behind the legs and scoop up the neck. <laughs> it's not feeling it. One thing that, uh, you know, the, the neck helps as well, and if their legs are suspended, that also helps them. So they can't really grab one? Right. Like when I when I pick him up, like what I'll usually do, like see how he's getting active. Yeah. I'll hold him just like this, so he just kind of just goes. So there. it's like a restraint. Right. Ooh. Whoa, he has some choppers. Well, this one's kind of had an attitude the last few days. He's he's been bad. <laughs> what about these guys? What's their name? This is Cosmo. Cosmo. That's Prada. <laughs> and this is Ryder. So these two are boys and that's our girl. I love their eyes. We have our 46 foot pied back at the farm. His name is Oreo. Oh, like a pied rocket? Yep, or alligator, yeah, because like the back of his tail is completely white and it kind of speckles into the darker. I didn't know that could happen. I thought it was just all pied ones. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Let me see if I can pull up a picture of that one. That's a pie. Cool. That's crazy. Okay, you guys, that's the end of this Repticon vlog. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna film anything quite afterwards, but it was really fun. Um, like I said, I got a little pet, which I'm not gonna show just yet. And I did hold the crocodile, or alligators, alligators. <laughs> I did hold the alligators, and that was pretty cool. That's not something, I haven't done that since I was like a little kid. But yeah, we're gonna head out. Okay, you guys, so I am back home, and as you can see, it is very sunny. Um, but I realized that I didn't have 
and official outro to this video. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that official intro and you can see our beautiful little plant back here. But there's too much sun in my face. So yeah, but I don't know why there was an official outro to this video. I don't know what happened, but you know, sometimes when <laughs> You're vlogging, you just, you, you can't do it because there's so much going on at once. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you love pets and this Repticon vlog. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>